Trucker here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. Just dumped out our delivery here. Got some new construction. sander on it this year first time ever we got it painted now they don't want to put sand on it salt I don't blame them but I'll still be plowing with it if we ever get snow identical to it but it wasn't as good a shape I tore it down they're gonna build some new houses real estate is really popping around here has been for years all right Let's go out of here we'll get loaded our yard is about a block away We'll get loaded, haul, a, haul another one, and another one back here. Freaking sun came out. Look at that. She left a mess. Let me tell you something. It takes a lot of effort to keep a truck clean like this. I got back last night, five o'clock. I had to have my son at a sporting event by 5.30. My daughter at a, my daughter at an event at six. I had to pick them up both at eight o'clock. They gave me a little bit of a window from about 6.30 to quarter of eight before I had to go pick them up. Came back to work, get the power washer out, got the mid out. 28 degrees, 20 mile an hour winds. Hour and 15 minutes, got her clean. Doesn't happen by itself, it's a lot of extra effort. And I'm a lot, I'm also insane too, because I could have just drove dirty today, but really I couldn't.
this one out, go to the yard and get a load. this out and then we get another load of gravel we'll mix
Thursday. I'm on my last run for the week. We're actually off Christmas Eve day, which is Friday. Christmas, which is Saturday. And then Sunday, obviously. I did volunteer to run the salt truck if it snows. We might get snow on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. But I live the closest to the yard. I jumped in the salt truck with somebody else. But it's nice having Christmas Eve day off. You know, this company gets better and better. You know, every year they add, they add more benefits. Uh, last year we got 401k, more holiday time, more vacation time. Oh, these guys, eight years. I mean, really, couldn't ask for a better, couldn't ask for a better company to work for. I mean, I've had a few jobs. No, I'm not a job hopper, but I've had, you know, eight years here, eight years of New Century, six years at Bud Meyer, four years at Boston Park, three years with Land Transport, and a few other jobs in between. But I'm saying, these guys do it right. Can't beat it. You know, so, and it's a paid. Christmas Eve is paid, so that's awesome. And if I salt, that'll be double time. I don't really want to salt. Believe me, I don't want to salt. I want my three days off, uninterrupted. But it is what it is. Part of the job. You know, every job's got pros and cons. So, part of being part of the team, right? Hope you enjoyed this video. This video, I don't know how this video is going to come out. I didn't really do much talking in this video. I shot a lot of footage over the last three days. And uh, my editing process is going to be different. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it. And I might have to throw some music in there. I don't know. It's going to be a weird video. If you hung in this far, thank you very much. And um, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Hanukkah. If you celebrate Hanukkah, that's Hanukkah. Not Hanukkah, Hanukkah. CH, okay? That's how the real Jews say it. Or whatever else you celebrate, it's all good with me. And uh, we'll catch you uh, after Christmas. We'll start another video, maybe. I haven't really made any videos in a while. About a month. Just, um, I've been doing a lot of TikTok. I do a TikTok video every day, by the way. TikTok, Instagram, the Boston Trucker, at the Boston Trucker. TikTok every day. Those are, those are easy to make. The videos I make on my TikTok account, they're for me. They're videos that I would want to see. And I just enjoy them. I don't take them seriously. But I got some awesome stuff on my TikTok, I think. Stuff that I love. I had two videos this week. One day I had my daughter with me on Monday. And we made a video uh, asking... I asked her what's the best part of trucking with Dad. And then... Two days later, I had my son with me, and he he hardly ever comes with me. And I said, "Hey, what's the best part? What's the best part of trucking with Dad?" And they both had the same answer. You should check it out. I was pretty happy how that came out. But uh, yeah, I got I got good kids. I got a good wife. I'm very, I'm very blessed. Very lucky. Got a good job, good career. Don't ask for anything more. Got a good truck. Check out the uh, our new Western Star is going to be here probably in a couple weeks. It's getting the fenders put on and the straw package put on next week. And that's going to be our new low bed tractor. I won't be driving it. I stay in this truck. You get rid of this truck. That might be the end of me. I don't know. If they get rid of this truck, they're going to get me something on par. That's all I got to say. And it's got to have it's got to have a gear shift. I'm, my shoulder isn't thrown out all the way yet, so I still got a little bit of life in the shoulder. I'm not ready for an automatic. I drove them. Drove one for a year. It's not my thing. But, uh, alright. Boston Trucker, thanks for watching. I love all of you. I love the comments. I try to comment and respond to everybody. Have a nice holiday. Boston Trucker out.
where I fuel every day. The only place I fuel, ProTech, Waltham, Massachusetts. You catch me here every day between 3.30 and 5, like clockwork. Price of fuel is 353.